How much does Matt Armstrong make from YouTube? If you don't know who he is, click the banner in the top right hand side of the video and it'll explain exactly who he is and where he's got to now. He is an absolute sensation of a YouTuber that's taken the car scene by absolute storm. Since 2020, his channel has been the fastest growing channel in the UK and almost in the world. So the format of this video guys is going to be three reasons why I believe he is an insane YouTuber and then I will be revealing how much he earns just from YouTube and that's not going to be including his merchandise and his sponsors so it's just his YouTube earnings. So the first reason I believe his channel has done so well is because he's so likeable. The guy never seems downbeat or anything, he never seems phased by any problem, he's always willing to tackle things and I kind of feel like if you're a car enthusiast and you face problems, a lot of the times people will end up getting other people to fix it for them or they'll end up sending the car elsewhere or getting rid of the car completely whereas Matt sees it as an opportunity, he sees it as an opportunity to tackle the problem, resolve the problem and then make it better by adding modifications and things like that so he he is so fixed on improving his own ability as well as like the cars and things so I just think he's so so likeable when you're watching him you just want him to achieve and that's why you will come back to his channel wanting more so the second reason why I think his channel has absolutely exploded is because he's kept the content so fresh he's constantly buying new project cars but he doesn't let the old ones go stale he does finish them and he also raffles them off so it kind of makes it an incentive for you to watch the whole series and then at the point at which he raffles a car off you've got your best opportunity to get into that raffle because they end so quickly so it's almost like he's learned how to entice people into his videos through wanting the cars that he's actually repairing it's actually genius if you think about it and the third reason I think is because of his video editing skills now he made it pretty clear and obvious that he grew up making videos and then when he was entering BMX competitions he was making videos, he was always editing and then obviously he made a kind of a career out of it for a car garage where he was uploading tutorials for a company website and looking after the marketing side of things. So he's obviously got the skills and passion for video editing which is obviously key in YouTube and it's something that I'm absolutely shit at. So enough about why Matt Armstrong is a sick YouTuber, let's get down to business and this is how much he actually earns. Now obviously we don't have access to Matt's full YouTube account and so we can't get the specific details but there is loads of tools that we can use on the internet to basically estimate his earnings in this sort of range. Now basically YouTube are getting money from the adverts that they put onto your videos so obviously more people who are watching your videos they'll get more people advertising on that video. So essentially they'll make more money and you'll make more money. You get paid through something called CPM which is cost per milli which essentially means how much YouTube will pay you for a thousand views. So if we take Matt Armstrong's daily average from socialblade.com his daily average is 496,825 video views. So being that he is a car YouTuber the CPM is a little on the low side. If we plug his CPM and YouTube views data into a revenue calculator you can see on screen now that he makes around about $680 to $1.7,000 every single day just from AdSense on YouTube and then his yearly is $248,000 to $620,000 which is absolutely insane and to be fair he's probably on the higher end of that scale just because of how quickly his channel has grown and is growing it literally is continuing to grow at such an insane rate that he definitely will will be achieving the high end of those figures. So if I had to guess, it will probably be about half a million pounds he's earning from YouTube AdSense. And that's not including his sponsorship deals that he has on every video. Now, the bigger the YouTuber, the bigger the sponsorship deals. And he's had sponsors like Y-Food and Surfshark and Squarespace for so long, they must have paid him an absolute arm and a leg for those videos. So I dread to think how much he's earned from those sponsorship deals, let alone from him raffling the cars off as well. It must be making a fortune, but fair play to him because he deserves it. So guys, I'm gonna wrap up today's video there. If you did enjoy it, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more content like this. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.